In this configuration we have an amplitude modulation system that uses single sideband and double sideband uh, for the transmitter and then we have a receiver circuit over here. Looking at the um, transmitter we have an audio generator that allows us to generate an audio signal where we can vary amplitude and frequency. We then have two paths through the system. One using double sideband using a balanced modulator, the other using a single sideband system with two balanced modulators and a ceramic bandpass filter. The local oscillator is a 455 kHz oscillator and we also have an audio amplifier so we can hear the signal that is being injected into the circuit. Scope is showing a double sideband signal and if I vary the balance on the modulator you can see I can adjust the modulation depth. I can also vary the audio signal so we can see the modulator and I can also vary the frequency of the audio signal so we can see the two sidebands within the system. In this example we are now looking at a single sideband system and we can see on the oscilloscope the modulation waveform on a single sideband system. Here I can vary the frequency control so we can tune the receiver in to the carrier of the transmitter. Here we can observe the double sideband signal and I can tune for optimum signal. The receiver has a uh, local oscillator which is driving the mixer circuit so our signal is received from the RF amplifier fed into the mixer with the local oscillator. We then have two IF stage amplifiers and then finally we have two uh, detector circuits one using a diode detector, one using a product detector and then finally the signal is output into the audio amplifier. With and the receiver there is a switch fault unit to allow students to investigate the circuits under different fault conditions.